sunken continents, said to have once been home to advanced civilizations. An ancient shipwreck containing what might be evidence of Atlantis and unidentified submersible objects moving through our oceans. For more than a decade, Ancient Aliens has traveled the globe to investigate some of the most puzzling discoveries made in the depths of our oceans. Now, we're exploring the top mysteries of the deep that just may hold the proof that Earth has been visited by extraterrestrials. Some of the mysteries we've investigated on Ancient Aliens are so baffling, we can only guess at what might explain them. And perhaps one of the most mystifying lies on the islands of Malta. In the middle of the Mediterranean Sea, just south of Sicily, lies the Republic of Malta. This tiny island nation boasts some of the most impressive megalithic structures on the planet. And crisscrossing the islands is something even more mysterious a complex network of grooves carved into the bedrock, known simply as the cart ruts. Something that Malta is very well known for archaeologically, besides the megalithic temples, are the cart ruts. These are ruts literally in the limestone rock. We don't know what these cart ruts are. You could speculate it was for a wagon, for a chariot. No, it was not, because sometimes they came together. The width changes all the time, so it cannot be from chariot. If you have grooves that were created by some sort of a transportation device, well, it had to have been pulled by something. So where are the footprints? There are no footprints. How and why the cart ruts were formed remains a mystery but their existence poses a profound possibility. Because some believe they may reveal that there was human activity on Malta many thousands of years before what has been suggested by mainstream archaeology. We have cart ruts that go into the Mediterranean Sea, and then they also come out on the other side. How is this possible? Some of the cart ruts that extend from dry land down into the sea have reportedly been found at depths of as much as 140 feet. This presents a critical clue as to just how long ago they must have been created. I suspect that some of these cart ruts are really ancient, and when I say really ancient, that is going back to before the end of the last ice age. So approximately uh, 12,000 years or so. The Ice Age ended, we know. Some of these cart ruts going into the water, that would have been dry land when sea levels were much lower. If you propose the idea that 12,000 years ago, which is a fact, the worldwide water levels were lower, then all of a sudden these cart ruts that go into the Mediterranean Sea make sense. The fact that these cart ruts exist, to me, illustrates that an advanced civilization must have existed at that time. If the cart ruts are more than 12,000 years old, as some researchers suggest, who would have been around to create them? It's a question that continues to baffle mainstream archaeologists. But according to local traditions, the megalithic structures on Malta were built by a race of giant beings who came to Earth from the stars. We have to be open to the possibility that whoever built these were not, in fact, human beings, but were perhaps a separate race, and their existence and even their origins is completely shrouded in mystery. Are the so-called cart ruts that not only crisscross Malta, but extend deep into the Mediterranean Sea evidence of advanced otherworldly visitors. For ancient astronaut theorists, the answer is a resounding yes. And they suggest that the waters of our oceans 
not only contain evidence of extraterrestrial visitation in the distant past, but they are the location of encounters that are happening to this very day. Most people assume that UFOs are only seen up in the sky. But what if I told you that some of the most widely reported sightings involve mysterious craft flying in and out of our oceans? Hitachi Province, Japan, 1803. Local fishermen are astonished when a mysterious metal craft washes ashore that is unlike anything they have ever seen. This craft was likened to the shape of a Japanese incense burner. It is almost literally a flying disc, a flying saucer. On the outside of this craft were multiple small metal plates are not too dissimilar to heat resistant tiles that you'd find, say, on a space shuttle. A hatch opened and a young woman came out of the craft dressed in clothes that had never been seen before and speaking a language that nobody understood in the slightest. The story of the strange craft appears in three different Japanese texts. Even today, modern historians struggle to understand what this means. Another famous incident involving a strange craft emerging from underwater occurred in Yunnan Province, China on October 24, 1991. A local man was fishing on Fuxian Lake on a clear and tranquil day when a large disc suddenly flew out of the water. This strange craft actually emerged from the waters of the lake. He described it as a shining disc. This UFO was so close and so powerful that it actually tossed the boat around. And then rapidly, this craft just disappeared up into the sky. San Diego, California, July 15th, 2019. Navy personnel aboard the USS Omaha capture footage of a mysterious round object flying into the ocean. Night footage actually shows a craft that is spherical and is flying through the air and then suddenly flies into the water without making a splash. Japan, China, San Diego. These are just three out of hundreds of reports of what are known as USOs. A USO is an unidentified submerged object. It's the same thing as a UFO, except this one's in the water and a UFO is a flying object. You see them off the coast of California. You see them a lot in the Gulf of Mexico. Spend some time on the Florida Gulf Coast, you will see a USO. These objects are flying along uh, through the atmosphere and then suddenly they go into the ocean. No splash, no wake, nothing. They just goes right into the water and then come out of the water in many cases and fly away. Now, one such never came out of the water and a submarine was actually dispatched to look for a craft that may have crashed but never found anything. The stresses and strains by flying through the atmosphere in outer space and then plunging into the oceans would be enough to rupture any of our known aircraft. For ancient astronaut theorists, perhaps the most compelling story of an extraterrestrial presence in Earth's oceans can be found in an account from 1492, recorded by Christopher Columbus. There's a famous story about Christopher Columbus, and he wrote this in his journals, that as he was moving west across the Atlantic towards the Caribbean in his first voyage, he saw a light out in the ocean to the west, hovering over the water. And this light then descended into the water. So he's perhaps one of the first witnesses to describe a transmedium craft like this, which could hover uh, above the water and then disappear into it like a submarine. Stories of undersea objects, glowing objects that fly out of the water, have been around for well over thousands of years. Are these 
like machines that the extraterrestrials have under the water. Southern California, with almost 200 miles of coastline, this picturesque region is famous for its beaches, surfing, and abundant sea life. It is also a hotspot for sightings of mysterious lights in the water. Folks have seen lights in the water outside Point Doom off the Malibu coast. There is this very strange 911 call from an observer near Point Doom saying he saw a light coming out of the water and calling it into the sheriff's station. One theory about this transmedium travel and these USOs is that what we're seeing is evidence of underwater bases. They're operating here, but under the oceans, right under our noses. While the idea of underwater alien bases in Earth's oceans may sound like science fiction, in 2014, satellite imagery revealed a very curious formation on the seabed, six miles off the coast of Malibu. The satellite photos show what seems to be an oval, flat-topped structure that's got legs coming down that are holding it up. It's about 2,000 feet underwater. A lot of people got very excited by this discovery. It's really quite striking, and it really does look artificial. And it makes you wonder, is this, as some believe, an extraterrestrial base? Is there a connection between the strange lights seen in the waters off the coast of Southern California and the mysterious undersea structure captured in the satellite image? For some scientists, it's a distinct possibility. If all these objects are buzzing our aircraft, they must have a base of operations. But you see, if they have a base of operations that's easily detected by us humans, it would sort of defeat the purpose of observing us. So perhaps there's an underwater base that is away from prying eyes of humans so that we don't interfere with their plans. That cannot be ruled out. While the formation discovered deep in the ocean off the coast of Malibu is highly unusual, it is not entirely unique. Across the globe, mysterious anomalies have been detected on the seabed that some suggest are underwater alien structures. The Under Ocean Geological Survey determined there were dome-like structures between Cuba and the coast of Florida. Was that a USO base? Because underwater, underneath our oceans, best place, the very best place to conceal yourself. Absolutely anything could be hiding within the oceans themselves. And the depths of them could hide vehicles, could even hide bases. For hundreds, if not thousands of years, we would not be aware of their presence. The oceans have everything that the crew of a ship would need to survive. It's got plants and animals that can be harvested for food. There's minerals and salt that we can take from the water. You can even separate the hydrogen from the oxygen in the water to create fuels and, and air to breathe. Everything that is necessary for life can be found in the oceans. And it may be that if extraterrestrials are in our oceans, they're not just hiding there, this may be their preferred environment. 